What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at Golden T 2020. I'm going to be showing you guys how to navigate the game, what the controls do, how to tweak the controls and all of that good stuff. So first and foremost, we're going to go over to the PC games wheel. That is where you're going to find the game. So that would be actually Windows games, Microsoft Windows. Scroll down to Golden T 2020. And we're going to start it up. All right, so first things first, we see these this uh, error message that comes up and it's telling you that you should enable vir virtualization on your PC for better performance. Now that does give you better performance. Um, this is not something that I usually enable because it's I have not ever needed it up until this point. And this is something that most PCs that, you know, out of the box, they will have this disabled. Reason being some malicious code uh, you know, viruses, etc., could take advantage of this feature to cause harm to your computer. Now, don't be scared. I mean, a virus can cause harm to your computer anyway, but that is the main reason why this is usually not enabled out of the box on computers. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enable that so that we have a smoother experience. It does work fine without it, but uh, it definitely works a bit smoother when you enable that. So for that, we have to get into the BIOS of the PC. I just wanted to start the game to show you the error message. So I'm going to go ahead and press the ex exit key, the escape key. And we're back to hyperspin. We'll go ahead over to the toolkit. And I'm going to go to exit to windows. Use this option to quit hyperspin and load windows. If you ever do that and it freezes like this and doesn't actually exit, you can just click on the screen, do end task. All right, so next up, I'm going to go to my start menu and I'm going to go to restart. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my iPhone camera. You just click on restart anyway if that comes up. And as soon as the screen goes black here, I'm going to start pressing on my escape key repeatedly. Okay, I'm pressing repeatedly on my escape key. And when you see this here, you're gonna go down to computer setup. Now, if you have a different PC, it might be a little bit different, but it's generally the same kind of idea. You just wanna get into the BIOS. Um, this is an HP machine. So we, we're gonna go to computer setup, enter on that. And we're gonna go over to security. We're gonna go down to security, uh, system security, enter on that. And there's your virtualization technology, VTX. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna press the right arrow key to enable it, and then F10 to accept. Remember, if you have a keyboard like a Logitech K400 or similar that has an FN key towards the left side next to controller or around that area, you wanna hold down FN before you press down the F key or it won't work. So F10, and then I go over to file, save changes and exit and say yes. Now the PC is gonna boot back up and we can continue the tutorial. All right, so now that the computer booted back up, we're right here under the Microsoft Windows wheel already. We're gonna start the game one more time. And you're going to see that the game is just going to go right in, no error messages, and it's going to full screen itself. Okay, so if the game does not full screen itself for you guys, you can press the player one start button, and that's going to take you in and out, in and out of full screen. If you look at the screen, it's also telling you that F11 will do that same thing. F11, if you want to use it again, if you have a Logitech keyboard like a K400 with an FN key, you have to hold FN, then hold down F11. All right, so first things first, you want to enter a nickname. I'm just going to do test. If you try to do anything with an R, it's going to give you problems because I have, you know, player one start is the letter R, and that's being used right now to take you in and out of full screen. So uh, if you want to use the R, you have to launch the game from outside of hyperspin. But uh, let's do test, select an avatar, play. 
just let it load it's downloading some courses over here on the right and obviously you have to be online for this game to work guys you cannot play this offline okay this is just a small tutorial you're gonna get at the beginning of uh, when you first start the game the first time you're gonna get this tutorial so just go ahead and click on here on next and uh, you know you're gonna be using your trackball and your click button on your control panel your left click or an actual mouse right now I'm using a mouse because I don't have a trackball with me so I'm just gonna click the green arrows there and now I want you to click on the screen move your mouse down click the green arrow again now you click on the screen and move the mouse up or the trackball there you go click next next you can read through all of this stuff if you want it's showing you what all the different indicators on the screen do all right it's telling you to go down again and swing keep it moving and select the hat here Okay, so now it wants you to swipe with two fingers. Now I already set up set this stuff up for you guys. So what you want to do is you want to press the you want to press up on the player one joystick. And then if you click, you can move the, the uh you know you can move the view around. So now you can go ahead and swing. And that was pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. Now, if you press up again on the on the joystick, you're going to see that the cursor reappears. So if you guys didn't get that by now, pressing up on the joystick, cursor disappears. Pressing up, the cursor appears again. Uh, you want the cursor when you want to click on things. So you click over here on Mulligan. And then you want the cursor to go away when you actually want to swing the ball with your trackball or your mouse. Now, in this case right here, uh, just think of the control panel. Uh, player one, the top three buttons. Uh, the left button is going to be uh, to move left. The rightmost button is going to be to move right. And the center button is going to be to bring you back to the home position. So right now, if I press that player one, the top three buttons, I'm pressing the first button on the left. That's going to move you to the left. And then the one to the right, it's going to move you to the right. And if you press the center button, that's going to bring you back to the home position. So right now I'm going to press A to move to the right. I mean left. Then I'm going to press up on joystick number one so that I can go ahead and swing. And there you go. So now I have to press up again because on the joystick because I need my mouse back to click, right? So there we go. So it's, you're going to be doing that a lot. You're going to be pressing up on the joystick to enable or disable the mouse cursor. Okay, so it wants you to pick a ball and it's telling you to pick the sniper ball. So over here you press the ball, click the sniper, and now you press up on the joystick to make the cursor go away so that you can swing. Up on the joystick, click, Just clicking on all these prompts. Open the joystick again so you can swing. And there you go, guys. So it's basically just enabling and disabling that cursor so you can swing or click on things. All right, so that's the it for the uh, that introductory tutorial there. Now here's giving you the option. You can actually sign in with Facebook or Google Play, etc. If you wanna you know make purchases uh i guess play with people online and stuff like that uh, right now we're going to just select play as a guest if you want to sign in you can go ahead and do that i'm going to choose play as guest continue just continue I want you to click collect continue and that's it we're in the game we're in the menu I want you to click on this thing right here Let's click next. I'm just going to close this out. You can read through all of this. You know, it's just showing you different things. Close that out. I'm going to go over to campaign. 
and I'm going to select one of the options here, Hawaii, Novus, whole one. I'm just going to X out of this right here and you're in the game. Now, what I want to show you guys now is kind of like what the controls do. Uh, or not what the controls do because we just went over that, but how to tweak the controls if you need to tweak them. Remember that, it, you know, different track walls, different uh, mice might need different settings. So what you want to do is you want to get out of full screen and remember that you can press the player one start to do that. So now we're out of full screen. And if you go over here to this little keyboard icon, game controls, you hover over it, it says game controls, you click on that. Then you go to open advanced editor these things right here, here, and here are what I set up for you so that you can use a mouse instead of touch. This game is being emulated through an Android emulator that expect touch controls. So to make it work on a PC, these are the workarounds that are needed. Now, if you want to change the sensitivity of the, uh, of the mouse or your trackball, you're going to hover over this up here and click that little gear icon right there. And here's the sensitivity for X, and here's the sensitivity for Y. So you guys can play around with that sensitivity right there to get it dialed in just how you like it. Uh, don't really have to touch anything else in here except for these two sensitivity settings, okay? Once you make a change, you exit out of the top right here on this X, and then you click Save on this lower right-hand corner, and then you can hit the X up here, and you're back in the game. If you want a full screen, again, player one start, back into full screen. If you guys want to uh, change the sensitivity or the motion, how it feels when you move to the left or to the right, you can, again, go back in here, go back into open advanced editor, and these two little gears right here are the ones you want to look at and they both need to match. So let's click on this one on the left here. See right here, radius and speed. Those are the two settings that you're looking for to tweak that motion from side to side like that. All right, so you would tweak those, same thing. You would click the X to exit, then you would tweak the other one and you need them both to match to be exactly the same. And then you exit out of that, hit save again and close everything out. I'm going to leave a link below to a tutorial. Um, I think it was Adam's Arcade or something like that. I forgot who it was that um, that's who I followed to get this part of it working. Um, then, you know, I had to integrate the whole thing into hyperspin and rocket launcher, but he goes through actually setting this stuff up from scratch. So you feel free to take a look at that. Um, if you guys come up with some good settings that you think work better than, than what I'm giving you here, uh, feel free to share them. Uh, post a comment in the description below. Go go to the Facebook group and, and, and let us know. And you can always export your settings to save them. Over here, see these two little icons? You can click on this right one here, export. And then it'll let you save that configuration uh, wherever you want to save it on your computer. And then let's say someone else uh, gives you uh, their settings. You can click on this one here, import. And then you just select where you wanna. Uh, you select where you have it saved on a thumb drive, wherever, and you and you can import those settings. And now you have someone else's settings to try out for yourself. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and exit this, cancel out. I'm just gonna hit on this card changes because I didn't really do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and full screen it one more time. And we're just gonna go ahead and again play for a little bit here, so I can. Uh, show you guys again what the kind of workflow is as you're playing this game. So again, right now you have the mouse enabled, so you can click on different things around the screen. If you actually want to swing, go ahead and press up on your left joystick. The cursor goes away, and you can go ahead and use your mouse to swing or your trackball. If you want to move to the left or to the right against that again that top row there's three buttons on top row first left button to uh move to the left uh remember you have to re-enable the the cursor so press up first then you can go ahead and press that leftmost button to move left or the rightmost button to move to the right 
If you go too far, you want to get back to home, press that center button, and that brings you back to home. Now I actually want to swing, so I'm going to press up on the joystick, and you can go ahead and swing. Alright, so yeah, that is basically the gist of it, guys. Real quick, I forgot to mention this originally, but once you're done playing, if you go ahead and hit your exit key, it went out successfully this time, but it, let's say it gets stuck and it goes back to the actual main uh, blue stacks, the emulator, if it goes back to the blue stacks window or something like that, uh, just press escape a few times, you know, your exit key, and it'll bring you back to hyperspin. That is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.